Guys, we're here in Warrington. We've finally finished this project for a client. As we're speaking today, it's the 1st of August. The base rates have gone down as well, which usually make the interest rates. So what usually happens is that prices will start rising now. Properties under demand will start growing. So it's a perfect time for him to sell it. He wants to flip it. I did advise him to um, remortgage it and get it out as a, f a three bed HMO at £500 a room, if not a four bed. But um, the income's not as important to him because he's got another business. So he's going to flip it and hopefully make about 30k profit. So let's go and have a look at a refurb. Guys, as you can see, we've done a basic refurb. We've changed all the doors, we've done the floor, we've plastered the walls, we've put nice flooring in. It just needs cleaning up now. But um, this is ready for this is ready for sale now. All that rubbish needs to go. Uh, a few bits left to do, but um, it's getting there. We just need a washing machine in there. Kitchen's all tidied up. Just needs a good clean. We've spent 6K on this refurb. Well, six and a half altogether, and a few hundred for cleaning um, to maximise the profit for the for the owner for the client. So he will make quite, hopefully, thirty k, quite decent money on this, um, and then on to the next one because he bought it below market value. And guys, with sourcing properties like this all the time with multiple exit strategies, so you can rent it as a HMO, you could remortgage it, or you can sell it. Three options there. Uh, for every client and that we never buy a property where there's only one option we're always buying in high demand areas for resale and rental let's have a look upstairs so as you can tell we've put a nice new carpet on nice thick carpet the doors are on don't know why it's not changed that door looks like Just basically just needs to tidy up now. Another, this is the room that we saw before. It's a nice little bedroom now. Just finishing touches now to sell it. So like little blinds in, maybe stage it a bit and that's how we get the best prices. But in this area, to be honest, the demand is so high that I think it will just sell straight away anyway. Um, we literally haven't put it on, but I've got a few contacts in mind who are buying in this area. The bathroom does need cleaning. Um, so we're going to get it all cleaned, it makes a massive difference. <music> Guys, come with me and I'll show you how we could get maximum £500 a room for three rooms, maybe even four from this property, which was 128k for a client. But I'll just show you upstairs. So this property is in an area which is close to Manchester, in the northwest, close to Liverpool. It's actually in Warrington. We're getting loads of properties below market value in the whole northwest area and they're ripe for high tenant demand rooms. So we've got a room here that could easily go out with a bed and some furniture for £500 a month. We've got another one here which might fetch £550. We've already test tested these on open rent. So this is quite a nice room with a built-in wardrobe. We'll just need to clean it up and get it staged 550. And you've got a smaller one here, but there's so much demand in Warrington. Uh, we'll probably even get 450 for this room. So, guys, then there's one downstairs. And it will even rent with a clean bathroom. We don't have to put a brand new bathroom in. So I'll show you downstairs, guys. It's such a nice HMO and you can have separation in, uh, along the corridor as well. So it's not too close together. You come back in. If you wanted to, in time, if you're a landlord of this property, you could get a fourth room downstairs by partitioning. So you only need one 
communal kitchen really so there's two communal rooms one of these could be a, a bedroom and it would only cost a free few thousand pounds and then you'd be earning over 2k a month from a 128k house and 6k refurb remortgage it back out take that money that you've released the 20-ish grand and put it onto another property that one was 74,000 it's worth 200 I took the equity remortgage and I bought this one so that equity put a deposit on this one city centers there two HMOs and um, that's how we're growing cli clients portfolios that's how I grew my own portfolio keep the refurbs cheap and cheerful get the rooms nice and rented out and uh, buying high demand areas another thing really important is before we buy any properties like this either for ourselves or clients we always check the demand on open rent right move with our agents who we know etc so we know there's high rental demand as a single let and as a HMO we also check the sales market and see the comparables and we know in the last two years how many properties have sold and what for so we can predict the profit property shouldn't be a risk property is the least riskiest investment you'll make and that's why people do it so when you're doing property there's no risk so the only risk you have really is the refurb risk which we manage by using our own in-house teams but importantly the rental demands checked the sales demands checked the resale demands checked even the remortgage valuations can be checked so we know exactly what we're going to make from each property give or take a couple of hundred quid that's why i do property zero risk high reward guys when we're doing refurbs the important thing is to change the carpet change the floors change the doors get the walls nice and smooth neutral colors nice flooring we haven't gone overboard here so we haven't changed the upvc windows all of them there's certain things we haven't done but that's to keep the cost down and we know we can still sell it to a first-time buyer and it fits the category of this house up to 180,000 pounds so we're not going that extra mile because we want to keep the profit locked in but we know we can still sell it or remortgage it or rent it now same again if you guys want below market value properties where you've got multiple exit options leave a yes in the comments i'll get a free property investment buying guide to yourselves and if you want to use our sourcing as well yes in the comments it's the same guide you can either source them yourself or you can use us we have multiple multiple deals coming in we don't buy them all we go to our lucky clients so let's get it guys we even funded this project for our clients so it was a 25 percent deposit and uh, we can now remortgage it onto a buy to let product release the money and he'll cash flow from this but the client has decided to sell it take the maximum all the profit and uh, invest it into another project so there's different ways to profit from property and there's so many options um, that you know you can't really lose it's just which one suits your situation and life circumstances are the best and that's what i say guys when you're booking for a consultation with me and i onboard you as a client we'll deep dive into your uh, personal situation your life plans your age and all of that and that makes a, a massive impact a client on this property is not 20 25 years old so for him the big chunks of cash are more important whereas if you've got time in your, in your young 20s like a lot of my clients we can build the portfolio and then take the millions later on when you've got a portfolio of 10 or 20 properties which have appreciated in time in the next five years this will probably go another 50k onto it and we'll get the rental income and we can remortgage it and use the equity release to fund your property portfolio so guys it's not one size fits all the property but it's certainly a strategy for every single person mm -hmm.